Shalom to the elect, giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakudash, and giving double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops, a great millstone who well, peace and salutation to the elect. Start with the 144,000 prophets and the rest of the remnant of believers. Shalom to the his life foreign is like unto the speckled bird that looked like the heathen nations where they've been scattered to, but lineage go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Shalom to you. So Shemia Moffat is a Mappa from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia. Abala, I'm the Mighty Mike. Come on, lesson little all right, we lesson. Alright, this lesson is going to be be um just going into the breaking news. Guys, there's breaking news out of Israel tonight. As you know, Iran uh, attacked with ballistic missiles. The Israel is now saying 181 ballistic missiles. That attack finished about 45 minutes ago. It's now 9.14 p.m. Uh, we're standing in central Israel. You guys know our studio here at the Israel Guys is on Har Bracha, which is the Mount of Blessing, right in the middle of Samaria, the Shamron, Judea, and Samaria. So we're standing right now. I'm facing directly north where the missile barrage attack came from. Obviously, you can see the lights uh, in the south behind us. Uh, it's a little too far, but basically Jerusalem is to the south of us. Um, this was the craziest attack that any of us have ever witnessed or been a part of. Um, we got a lot of the footage we'll be showing you on the screen, uh, first-hand footage that we got. Israel is actually saying this is the largest rocket or missile attack in their history since the founding of the state of Israel. Just hundreds of uh, rockets and missiles flying overhead, north to south, and obviously the Iron Dome working overtime, Iron Dome working from multiple directions in all the country. We'll show you the map that shows the, the red alert, basically. You guys have probably seen this app. It shows where the rockets are hitting in Israel. This is the first time I've ever seen um, the entire map of the state of Israel covered in red dots, meaning that these missiles um, threatened or, or targeted every part of Israel from the northern tip almost all the way to the southern tip to the Red Sea. These were not uh, homemade rockets from Hamas and Gaza. They were not even uh, missiles from Hezbollah and Lebanon. These were ballistic missiles fired on the state of Israel with the intent to kill, destroy, uh, and do as much harm as possible. Um, and amazingly, there are no reported uh, deaths uh, so far, except there, there's a few rumors that maybe Jericho uh, had, a, had, had a missile fall on them. There'll be more details Dang, coming about that about, thing is. Uh, about that later. Possibly one Arab or Palestinian Arab killed with Jericho. Celebrating in the streets. Obviously, he was outside because he was celebrating the attack. We'll get to more of that in a second. Hey, John, they, they taking a, uh, basically a piss because if they shot a, you said an Arab, Palestinian. That's like them saying they killed their own self, but that's what they, he's saying. You know, and that's uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, we know about E. Um, but no deaths from the uh, ballistic missile attack from Iran, as reported yet. Thankfully, um, Israel has basically said it's safe to come out. Iran has obviously said they're still going to attack again tonight. Um, but Israel's already reopened their skies, Ben-Gurion airport's functioning again, um, so it kind of remains to be seen uh, what's going to happen. But thank God uh, everyone in the country seems to be safe for the time being. You know, I think the big difference is between this attack and the, the other attack, uh, the Iranian attack was, is that, uh, you know, we had a, a big buildup, like, oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. We had 12 minutes this time, like, like it was just an, a totally different uh, uh, feeling, and, and the, the boom, it was here. Uh, the other big difference was is that it all happened right over our heads. Yeah. Right where we're standing right now is where the rockets were all shot down. Uh, we were here um, on the, uh, with the uh, first response teams, and literally as we were here, and rockets, I mean hundreds, because for every rocket uh, that's being shot by Iran and, and Lebanon uh, in this direction, uh, you have multiples of the Iron Dome, which just makes the sky completely full. I can't, it's, it's, I, I can't, it's something, I talked to the local security guys and never has he ever seen anything like this. Like this is just an insanity of what's going on here. Uh, and so these multiples of the Iron Dome shooting up just made for a, a sky absolutely filled with rockets. 
which is, is really and, and from multiple directions, directions like so much that you lost track of rockets going east to west west to east yeah. you know and which ones were the iron dome which ones were missiles which ones were rockets you know north to south and then seeing because you're outside yeah. and you're With shrapnel hearing landing all hearing around. shrapnel landing yeah. i'm on the porch of my roof and I'm seeing missiles like streaking down straight towards, I've never been in a situation where I thought a missile could directly impact my house or the houses, all my neighbors or the communities all around us. Uh, obviously a very, very scary time. Um, we will show you, I, I was standing on my front porch toward the, so there's two barrages, right? There was a first barrage with probably at least a hundred missiles or so just coming streaking overhead. Um, and then there was about a four or five minute lull. And then there was a second barrage with probably more missiles in the second barrage. And towards the end of that second barrage, all of a sudden shrapnel started falling. The first indication I got was I'm standing on my front porch filming this footage for you guys uh, because I knew the world has to see and has to understand what's going on. And I heard a thud about 50 feet from my front door. And after it was all over, uh, we found this piece of shrapnel, which we will show. One of the guys went to go grab it. If we can't find it in time, we'll, we'll put a picture of it up on the screen. And then you're outside just hearing like smaller thuds all around you, just tons of pieces of little metal yeah, just like falling from the sky. Kind of kind of uh, just whack the ground right beside you. But I'll tell you what was so uh, just wild. It happened with the first Iranian attack. It happened again this time. Uh, as we mentioned over in uh, Jericho, supposedly there's an Arab uh, herd. I don't know the whole story yet hadn't come out, but that's same thing happened in all the Arab villages around me. When the rockets started going, we started hearing the cheers, the whistles, the celebrations, the fireworks, the firing of weapons, the guns. That's an Arab tradition when they're excited, they go and shoot their guns in the air. Uh, this happened literally right <laughs> now. Yo, he, yo, he doesn't even like, obviously, uh, the Arabs, um, which is really, um, if we talk about Elon for Iran, but um, yeah, because uh, I've never used this source. This is the guys from the state of Israel. If he's wearing it, I don't own any of this footage. But as we see, you know, um, hey, the Lord is moving forward with these different prophecies. You know, to draw, um, you know, Babylon into, you know, the conflict. All right. So, I'm going to get this preset. This is Jeremiah chapter 49. And 20, it says, Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that he had taken against Edom. Edom is Esau and claims to be white. All right. And his purpose is that he has proposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. All right. And the least of the flock be dealing with the state of Israel. And, um, hey, be able to draw, you know, America, you know, into this, uh, you know, the ultimate of the conflict, you know, <clears throat> it's ultimately going to be all of this stuff is just leading towards, you know, uh, you know, World War Three, you know, in the end, you know, Iran has its allies, say the Israel has its allies, okay. And um, it says, surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. Now, when we go more into the breaking news, I think you would see how um, I think uh, there's different support that's uh, and people, they saying that they sending different troops over there. You know, I gotta pull out information maybe on Zero Hedge. Let's see, Zero. IDF saying they, they planning to hit back 
Israelis leave shelters after Iranian attack. U.S. destroyers fire interceptors at some of the inbound missiles. See any other things that we got? It's another big news I'm gonna go into. <laughs> Brothers putting out information like, you know, clearly this is the end, and it is clearly the end. Uh, Israeli Prime Minister vows to respond following Iran missile attack. You got White House vows severe consequences. Today, Iran launched nearly 200 ballistic missiles towards targets in Israel. The United States military coordinated closely with the Israeli Defense Forces to help defend Israel against this attack. U.S. naval destroyers joined Israeli air defense units in firing interceptors to shoot down inbound missiles. President Biden and Vice President Harris monitored the attack and the response from the White House Situation Room, joined in person and remotely by their national security team. We are still working with the IDF and the authorities in Israel to assess the impact of the attack. But at this time, and I stress at this time, we do not know of any deaths in Israel. We are tracking the reported death of a Palestinian civilian in Jericho and West Bank. We do not know of any damage to aircraft or strategic military assets in Israel. In short, based on what we know at this point, this attack appears to have been defeated and ineffective. This was first and foremost the result of the professionalism of the IDF, but in no small part because of the skilled work of the U.S. military and meticulous joint planning in anticipation of the attack. Uh, we are proud of the actions that we've taken alongside Israel to, to protect and defend Israel. We have made clear that there will be consequences, severe consequences for this attack, and we will work with Israel to make well, There you go. You know, so, you know, there's different prophecies that, uh, you know, are going to progress moving forward. And uh, ultimately, hey, you know, we know uh, we're moving closer to you know, uh, the coming of your was shy. All right, so, you know, there's different precepts on that I could go in, but I'm going to leave it at that right now. So, Shalom to the elect, and stay uh, at these, uh, continue to be progressed with the news updates.